Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So good day again everyone. Today we will be trying to solve um rational equations. Okay. So equations are just simply um concepts in mathematics wherein uh, the left hand side should always be balanced with the right hand side. Okay, so that's why it's called an equation. It must be equal. So um again, in equations we have two parts. Okay, uh, two sides I mean. Let's have an example. Say we have um, x over 24 is equals to 1 fourth. Okay. So again, in equations, we have two sides, which is what we call the left-hand side. Sorry. The left-hand side, and then we have the right-hand side. Okay. So in equations, it must be equals all the time. Okay. So dapat pareha siya all the time. That's why it's called an equation. So let's have a side example here. Um, say we have... 2 fourths is equals to 1 half. Okay? So, in this given, it's uh, it's by first glance, you will notice the baka hindi siya equals because again, the numbers are not the same. Okay? But we have this thing called equivalence in mathematics or sa Tagalog, yun yung katumbas niya. Okay? So, when we talk about equivalence, yeah, it just simply means that this 2 fourths is also equals to 1 half or this 1 half could also be equals to 2 fourths. By what means, okay? By what means, firstly, we have, we will, I will be teaching you two ways, okay? The very first one is by, um, what they call this, um, simplifying, okay? Simplifying the given. So, in this case, two-fourths can be simplified as, you divide both sides by two. Let me just write it down here. Two-fourths can be divided into two, both the numerator and then the denominator. So, two divided by two, the answer is one. And 4 divided by 2, the answer is simply 2. Also, meaning, this 2 fourths, ang equi the, its equivalent value is 1 half. So, we can say that this one can be simplified as 1 half, therefore making your given equal. Okay. So, the other thing that you can do is by simply cross-multiplying. Okay. So, we, let's write it down here again. So, we have 2 fourths, then we have 1 half. Cross-multiplying means I will multiply 2 here. And I will multiply 4 here. And 2 times 2 will give you 4. And 4 times 1 will give you 4. If that is equal, therefore, your given is also equal or it is correct. Okay po? So that is one way. And the last thing that we can do is by just simply multiplying both given by the LCD. So actually, that's three ways already. Okay? So again, multiplying your given by its LCD. So, we take a look at these two fraction. What are the LCDs of 4 and 2? When we talk about LCD, the least common denominator. Okay? So, the LCD of 2 and 4 is just simply 4. Okay? So, we will multiply both sides by 4. So, we will multiply both sides by 4. Sorry. And this one times um, 2 over 4. What would happen here would be 4 times 2 over 4 would be equals to 4 times 1 over 2. So, again, we multiplied both sides by 4. So, what would happen here is the 4 will be cancelled out. 4 divided by 2, the answer is 2, and 2 times 1 is equals to 2, giving you 2 is equals to 2. Okay? So, we have three ways pala. Three ways of solving rational equations. The very first way is, of course, by doing... Um, simplification okay and then the next one is by simply cross multiplying and the last one is just just by simply getting the lcd okay if you will be having numbers it's very obvious to see or to try those three methods okay and to check whether these two um given on the left hand side and the right hand side they are always equal but when it comes to this one rational equations okay it's, it will be a little bit complicated when you will be trying to solve for the unknown, okay? So, I always have this um, saying. I don't know if uh, if anyone else has said this. Okay, let me just uh, clear out this screen. Okay. And wait for a while. Let me just delete these things. Okay. I have this saying in mathematics that when you will be... Uh, in my classes... That if you will be trying to solve for ad for the unknown, you leave it alone. Let me just write it down. To solve for the unknown, to, sorry, to solve for the unknown, 
leave it alone. Okay? So, to solve for the unknown, you leave it alone. Just like in this given, every unknown that, we, that you will be given, excuse me, every unknown that you will be given would be um, represented by these things we call variables. Variables are just simply letters, okay? They are called variables because their values varies, meaning it can change from this given to another given, okay? So they are called variables in that way. Now, in this case, let's try, take a look at the given. It's x over 4, this one, is equals to 1 fourth. By first glance, you will notice that they are not equal, okay? Because, of course, the numbers are not the same. And also, even if you try the method that I, I gave you before, you will not be able to evaluate this one, okay? You must find the value of x first. Again, even if you will try, for example, let's try the, the simplification. You cannot simplify this one because that's a letter and a number, okay? Next one, um, let's try cross product. That would be 4x is equal to 24. Still, they are not equal, okay? And then the next one is um, by just simply finding the LCD. If you will try to find the LCD of 24 and 4, I, the answer would be 24. So that would be 20, um, sorry, that would be x is equals to um, 24, sorry, that would be 24 over 24 times 24 times 1 half. Still, the, it's not very visible again, okay? So what you need to do here is you need to first solve for the x, you need to solve for the unknown, okay? You need to find the unknown value, which is the x. So what do you think should be the value of x so that your given will be equals to 1 fourth? So maybe let's try to guess first. What if your x is equals to 2? Okay. If your x is equals to 2, then your given would be 2 over 24 is equals to 1 half, uh, 1 fourth. Simplifying this one, this would be 1 over 12. And let's try to cross, or maybe let's use the cross product. It's the, the best one for me, I think. 2 times 4 and 24 times 1. 2 times 4 is 8 and 24 times 1 is 24. Definitely, they are not equal. So, we can say that x is not equal to 2. Because, of course, of this one, they are not equal. Okay? So, again, um, for us to solve for, ano, for the x, okay, we will not be guessing. Okay? So, we will be using this, uh, let's just use one method for today. Okay? We will use the cross product to solve for the unknown, okay? So, what we will be using for solving rational equations for today is what we call the cross product, okay? Um, I don't think, I'm not sure if this is the correct term to call it, but cross products, of course, you're just cross multiplying, okay? So, in this given, um, say we have the first given, okay? We have x over 24 is equals to 1 4, okay? So, you want to know the value of x so that your given will be balanced. Again, our aim here for today is you will be looking for the value of x so that your um, equation will be balanced. Dapat pantay siya, okay? So, the first thing that we need to do is to find the cross product, okay? So, that would be step number 1. Find the cross product. So, when you do the cross product, you just simply cross multiply and you apply the methods of uh, multiplication with variables, okay? So, when you're multiplying variables and numbers, if there are no numbers beside the variable, you just simply put them together. Again, when you're multiplying numbers to variables, if there is nothing beside the variable, wala siyang katabi, therefore, you just put them together for x. Then, you multiply 24 times 1, okay? And then, the next thing that you will do is you need to, step number 2, is you need to transpose. Transpose, okay? In transposition, this would be just a, a simp uh, the simplest way that I can put this is you just need to reverse the M does, okay? Meaning, the very first thing that you need to transpose to the other side would be addition or subtraction, and then finally followed by multiplication or division. But this one would be very restrictive, okay, if you don't have a, okay, note, if no denominator, okay, kapag walang denominator. So, let's look at this given. Is there no, don um, is there any fraction here? Is there any denominator? If there is none, then of course you transpose, okay. 
and we transpose based on what concept or idea okay we transpose based on the one i gave you to solve for the unknown you leave it alone okay so you have to check which is your unknown your unknown is of course x right so you have to leave your x alone and you have to check what are the numbers or the things beside x so you will notice there is this 4 okay so that 4 basically the operation between x and 4 is just simply multiplication okay so this 4x is actually equals to 4 times x okay so that is the ano class uh, please always remember that if i have a letter and a number together is just equals to 4 times x 4 times x 4 times x Okay po, I do hope that you will remember that. So, 4x is just simply 4 times x. So, the thing about that is you will transpose that 4. And remember, in transposition, the, of course, the there's no addition and subtraction, right? So, we proceed immediately with multiplication and division, okay? Remember, in transposition, what you need to do is you need to reverse the operation. And the reverse or the inverse operation of multiplication is just simply division. So, let me transpose 4 on the other side, of course, because you want to leave your x alone. And that given will be, that operation will be reversed. Remember, it's multiplication. Now, it will become division. Okay, and 24 divided by 4, the answer is just simply 6. Am I correct? Yes, it's 6. Okay, so if you want to check, okay, if you want to check, you just simply have to get that value of x. Sorry. Get that value of x and then substitute that to your given. Our given is, of course, x over 24 is equals to 1 fourth. Okay? And then, substituting this given will give you, of course, 6 over 24 is equals to 1 fourth. And simplifying this one, I will not discuss it further. Simplifying this one will give you 6 divided by 6 is 1 and 24 divided by 6 is and that would be your answer. If it is one fourth, is equals to one fourth. Therefore, your given is already balanced. Therefore, we can say that x is equals to six. Okay, so that is one. That is the way that we will be doing it for today. Okay, so let's have another example so that you will understand further. Say we have um twenty five at two x plus five over 7 is equals to 2. So again, what we need to do, the very first step is we need to cross multiply. And I have, is, as I have discussed, and if you have watched our previous videos, okay, we, um, all whole numbers, okay, all whole numbers will have a denominator of 1. Meaning, this 2 will always have a denominator of 1. Okay? So now, you can cross multiply. Kasi, uh, maybe you will be, um, you might be confused. Sir, how can I cross multiply if there, if there is no denominator? Okay? So this 1 times this number, and then this 7 times 2. Okay? So cross multiplying any number times 1 is equal to itself. So therefore, there will be no change. Okay? But 7 times 2, the answer is 14. Okay? And then what we need to do next is we just simply need to... Um, cross um i'm sorry we need to transpose or not cross transposing 5 and 2 because again you need to leave your x alone okay if you're leaving your x alone you have to follow the rule of transposition and in transposition you reverse the sign i i mean you get the inverse of the operation and at the same time you always transpose addition and subtraction first then followed by multiplication or division if and only if Note, no denominator. So, you have to check. There's no denominator here. Therefore, I will transpose first. Pinakauna, addition and subtraction, followed by multiplication and division. So, since there is addition here, I will transpose that first. So, that is plus 5. It becomes minus 5. Again, the operation will be reversed. And then, on this given... 2x is equals to 14 minus 5. The answer is 9. Okay. Now you have 9 there. What you need to do next is of course to transpose that 2. 
And remember that 2 is times 2. Remember that 2 is times 2. Therefore, if I transpose this 2, it would become divided by 2. And our division will always be in fraction form. Okay? Since we cannot simplify this any further, then we must assume that this would be your final answer. Okay? And let's try to check. Let's check whether the given is correct. So check. No. Given that x is equal to 9, sorry. It's equal to 9 over 2. And our equation being 2x plus 5 over 7 is equal to 2. So meaning if I substitute x, the value must be equal both on the left hand side and also on the right hand side. Okay po? They must be balanced kasi equal nga eh. Equality. Okay? So substituting x over 2 on our 2x on our x, this would be 2, 9 over 2 plus 5 over 7 is equals to 2. Okay? 2 times 9 over 2 will just simply become 9 kasi it's times um, over 2. Okay? Kasi it would be just like this if we did not do the cancellation. 2 times 9, the answer is 18. And 18 divided by 2, the answer is simply 9. And 9 plus 5, the answer is 14. Over 7 is equals to 2. Or 14 divided by 7, the answer is 2. And it's 2 is equals to 2. Therefore, we can assume that x is equal to 9 over 2. Okay? So that's one way. So let's try to answer something a little bit complicated. Okay? So like maybe let's have... Our given of x over x minus 2 plus 5 over x plus 4 is equals to 1. For a while, let me just fix that. x plus 4 is equals to 1. <clears throat> now, in this case, um, it would be a little bit difficult. Okay, to do the cross product. Why? Because there are three things already. Okay, so what we can do here is we need to check, uh, we need to try for another method. Remember that I have discussed to you the three methods that we can check whether the equation, rational equations are equal. The very first one is the simplification. The next one is the, I think the cross product. Cross product. And then the last one is the LCD. Okay. So, in this case, if you will be um, using um, cross product, it will be hard. So, cross product are just simply for givens that are strictly 1 is to 1. There is one term on the other side and one term on the other. Uh, on the other okay? But the LCD will be applicable for any. So, let's try to use LCD. And let's try to establish the rules. Okay? So, the rules for this one would be this. Rule number, what, what ink did I use for the rules? It's the blue one. Okay. So, let's establish the rules for the LCD. Okay. So, rule number one. You have to find the LCD. LCD of what? Sorry. Just right. Find the LCD of the given. So, you have to check the given. Okay. So, when it comes to the LCD. Okay. Um, let's just. Oh, sorry. Let's just review LCD first. Say I have one fourth plus one third plus 1 over 6, okay? When we are trying to find the LCD, what we do here is we actually get the common factor of 4. I mean, the factors of 4, the factors of 3, and then the factors of 6. The factors of 6 is 2 times 3, I guess. Yeah, it's 2 times 3. And then we just simply, uh, you, you will notice, class, that what I did here is I aligned the similar factors. So this one will go down, go down here. So this would give us 2. This one since it's similar, so we get 2 again. This one since it's similar, then we get 3. And then this one has no partner, then we get 1. And that would be 2 times 3 times 1. And 2 times 3 times 1 is just simply 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 4, 8, 12. That would be 12. Okay, so this would be our given. 12. This is our LCD. Okay? So, that is the, the simple way of getting the LCD. Okay? 
But as for the ano, for our given, since it's a, uh, to call this, sorry for a while. Let me just get this one. Okay, since our given, okay, it's a um, algebraic expression, so the rule will not change. Okay, so the LCD of this one would actually be simply x minus two. The factors of that is just simply x minus two times one. And then x plus four. The factors of that is just simply. Um, let's just have one here. One times x plus four. Okay, so let's bring this down. So that's x minus two. Then we have one as is, and then we have x plus four. And this would be your LCD. Okay, is that easy? Okay, you just simply have to align them. But that is if and only if your given is these two one. May one jan. Okay. If that is x squared, then it's another ano, another thing to discuss. Okay, so the next thing that you need to do is you just simply have to multiply all terms by the LCD. So meaning, so sorry, meaning we just simply have to multiply everything by the LCD, giving you, for our example, x over sorry for a while. Let me just. Have it here. X minus two times x plus four times x over x minus two plus again we have x minus two times x plus four times five over x plus four. Oops, sorry. Equals to same. Let me just zoom out a little bit. May jo mahabay ating given. Again, we have x minus two times x plus four times one, and anything times one is just simply itself. So I will just leave it as is. Okay. So multiplying this one, it we will have this. Now on this case, since there is multiplication on every given term, we can cancel that, leaving us with x plus four times x plus. This one we can cancel x plus four because they are the same and it's all multiplication, leaving us with x minus two times five, and equals to x minus two and x plus four. Okay. The next thing that we need to do here is we just simply need to evaluate. So we will evaluate this one. Okay. So we will have this one. This is x squared plus four x plus Five x minus ten. Distributive po. Distributive. Five x minus two. It's equals to this one is x squared plus two x minus eight. So you just simply have to, ano, of course, remember your ano foil method, okay? So in this case, we just simply have to. The next step, sorry, it will be skipped. The next step would be, of course, to transpose for a while. Transpose all terms on one side. Okay, why why do I need to transpose all terms on one side so that I can simplify further? Okay, so I will transpose for uh, all terms on one side. Okay, so we will transpose this one, this one, and this one. Because this one has four, this one has three, so it's best to transpose. The smallest group, which is of course the three group. So we will have this will be a little bit tricky, po. Ah. X squared. This one will change the sign because it's all addition and subtraction. They will just simply change the operation. This one is positive, so this becomes negative. Okay. Then we have this one plus four x. Then this one becomes negative, so this becomes minus two x. Then we have here plus five x again. Then we have minus ten here. Then we have minus eight. Okay. If that confused you a little bit, so let's just do it like this. Okay. Let's just list down all the given terms. Okay. Together, muna. So we have x plus four plus five. Oh, sorry. Let's write it down properly. So we have plus four x plus five x minus ten. Transposing these things, minus x squared. Minus two x plus eight equals to zero. Okay, having this given, 
having this given, what we need to do now is we need to simplify. These are the same number but different signs. So we need to cross them out. Why? Because it's just like having this 4 minus 4. Mga wala yan. 0 lang. Okay? So this will be cancelled out. Okay? And as for the 4x, 5x, and negative 2x, it's just like having apples. Okay, you have 4 apples, 5 apples, you reduced it by 2 apples. Okay, so 4, 5, minus 2. 4 plus 5 is 9. This is 9x. Minus 2x, the answer is um, 7, 8, 9. 7x. Okay, so this would be 7x. And we will have negative 10, and then we have positive 8. Negative 10 plus 8, the answer is, of course, negative leaving us with 7x minus 2. The next thing you need to do is you need to leave your x alone. So this will give us 7x positive 2. x is equals to 2 over 7. And this would be the value of your x. Okay, But I'm not quite sure whether this is the correct answer or not. Maybe it is. So let's just simply check. Okay? So, if you're not sure or absolute about your given, the next thing that you need to do is you need to check. Again, I'm just going to write the fourth, me fourth step pala. The fourth step is just simply leave transpose pala. Sorry. Transpose. Okay? So, yeah. So, in checking, again, we just simply need to substitute. So, let's check. In checking, that's our value for x is 2 over 7. And our um, given is x over x minus 2 plus 5, I think, over x plus 4 is equals to 1. Okay? So, uh, substituting for our given, all the x will become 2 over 7. So, it's 2 over 7 over 2 over 7. Sorry, let's just move down a little bit. 2 over 7 minus 2 plus 5 over... 2 over 7 plus 4. This would come as a complex fraction, so we just simply need to, what they call this, we need to just simplify, okay? So let's simplify this part and then this part first under complex fraction, okay? So that's 2 over 7 minus 2. The answer there would be 14. Let me just change this. This is 14 over 7 because that is also 2. And 2 minus 14... The answer is 2 over 7 over, that's 12, negative 12 over 7, I guess. Okay, and then we have plus 5 all over equals to 1. 2 over 7 plus 4, the answer here is, um, let me just get my calculator. Okay, so that's 2 over 7 plus 4. So the answer there is 30. Uh, sorry, that's a reason. That's 30 over 7. And then again, complex fraction. This one, evaluating this one would become 2 over 7. Okay, divided by yan. Ha? So we will multiply it by 7 over 12. So it's still negative. Okay, plus this one, com um, complex fraction again. This would be 7 over 30. Multiplication na bakit you will reciprocate. Okay. So, 2 over 7 times um, negative 7 over 12. Sorry for a while. The answer here is um, cancel, 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 cancel. That's negative 1 over 6. Because 7 and 7 will become 1 and 2 over 12 is simply 1 6. Plus this one, cancel, cancel. This would be um, 1 and this would be 6. So that is 7 over 6, sorry, that's equals to 1, equals to 1. And negative 1, 6 plus 7 over 6 would be equals to 6 over 6, giving us a value of 1 is equals to 1. It's balanced now, therefore we can assume that x um, is equals to, what's that, 2 over 7 is the solution. Okay, so tama yan. So therefore this is correct. Okay, so that is the other way of solving this one. Okay, because um, this one, okay, the, to call this, the LCD method, okay, will be used if and only if you have multiple 
um, fractions. But if you, uh, like, ano, like, more than two fractions, okay? But on this case, in our formula, in, in this case, in our um, single, uh, two fractions, meaning one on the other side and then one on the other side, we will just simply use the, um, what you call our method, the cross product, okay? So the LCD method is a little bit complicated, but it is a sure way of getting you your um, answer or the value for the x, okay? So maybe we'll just um, provide you with other examples on the next videos, but this is the basic concept when it comes to the solving for rational um, equalities, okay? So our main aim here, okay, remember our main aim is to find... I'm just going to write it here. Main aim is to find the value of x that will that will balance the equation. Okay? So again, it's an equation. You have the left hand side and then the right hand side it must be always equals. Okay po? You need to find the value of x. Okay? So I do hope that you got that. You can of course review the, our video over and over again or you can ask me in our synchronous classes um, or regarding of course the regarding the topic for today. Okay po? So I do hope you got that. Thank you everyone for listening and Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.